Hi guys, welcome to our second episode of The Walking Dead for the week. This is going to be episode 7 of season 9. So, the last episode has moved us on significantly. We've been introduced to some new people whose names I don't know. Um, and the decision taken in the end, pretty much by Michonne, is that she's going to take them over to Hilltop and ask Maggie if they can go stay there because Michonne doesn't want them here. In particular, ex-jailbird girl, <laughs> whatever her name is. Um, I love the new, what you call it, the, the new <sighs> Alexandra, the, the, the whole new feel. It does, it does kind of feel that way that they've reinvented it a little bit and pushed the story forward and the timeline forward. I don't know how long it's been. Um, I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments. I don't mind you doing so. It's not really a spoiler. So, I'm trying to decide what they do from here, what I think they're going to do from here. I'm not entirely sure. It, it suddenly feels a bit of a refresh, like a refresh of a show. Um, what I am happy to see is we have a king and a queen now, and Carol's hair is ridiculously long, and I don't believe for a second that she's grown that. That that, that was a little bit... <sighs> Here, this, this length, maybe, but she's got the length of the hair of, like, a 10-year-old girl would have, you know? Um... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And Gabriel and, and, and Rosita, how did he pull that one? <laughs> there was a few surprises, got to admit. I'm sure there's going to be more. We haven't seen Hilltop yet since we've, we've pushed the sto story and the timeline forward. So, let's dive in. This is episode 7. Where's Eugene gone? Over we move forward again. Why are they talking? Okay, that's creepy as shit. Before we go any further, what the hell was that? Why did the walkers sound like creepy ghosts? Talking to her going, this way, over here. How much further have the patrols cleared? To the Route D river bin. Okay, so we're on our way. Five miles past that? But you think I should have let them stay in Alexandria? Well, you're going pretty far out of your way not to. Us not being defenseless out in the open because you gave them a reason not to trust us. So, we can roll with this a little while longer. It doesn't matter, does it? Who? No, no, not no. Cool. I want my damn knives. <laughs> She's been on edge since we lost Barry. Was he with you long? Long enough. I used to wear this absolutely horrid shirt. <laughs> Magna hated it. She said just looking at it gave her a migraine. So Bernie wore it every day. Just to annoy her. This is place Hilltop, it's safe. It is. What's it like? It's been a while since I've been there. Yeah, twins dropped it off this morning. She's good. Happy. What the fuck's Maggie gone? What's up? Got a list of people that want to talk to you. I'm sure you do. Fine, I'll just leave this here. You so, with it. he's been left Very in charge. Funny. Sit, I'm listening. You can at least pretend to be happy. Thank you, Tara. He doesn't look too impressed, this place actually. Is a mess. Just take Maggie's office. She'd want you to have it. It's fine. I don't need it. I'm taking Henry to the hilltop. He wants to apprentice at the smithy. Yeah. Well, I appreciate your visit. You seem real good. I can't stay at Hilltop. We've got problems of our own at the kingdom. I'd just feel really a lot better if you were there with him. You want me to babysit your boy? Henry's an idealist, just like Ezekiel. I love that about him, I do. It's important, but it can be dangerous, too. That's the one thing, what they've done with Daryl's character there of him living solo, that uh, no, no, I just accept no. easily. Sickos tore the damn place up. 
Look at this place. I didn't think it would be this bad. The herd you ran from did all this? No. The bigger one must have come through here. So this is where they were. This is all what's left of their stuff. This girl's not taking this well. I don't even know her name. You should take something of his with us. How would we do that? This is the first instrument I ever played as a kid. Pretty much for all my of us. My aunt got it for me for my birthday, and I had it a whole week before my mom decided, for her own sanity, that I like painting better. DJ, collect all their weapons. Hell no! We're taking with ours. No! I'm not letting my men take five armed strangers into Hilltop. No. Your men? What about you? I came to see if your story checks out. Weapons. You want your weapons? Take them. Then you're on your own out here. Michonne. I didn't you think Michonne was doing this. A chance at something better? I mean, guys, we, we made They've this got long. the better options here than I you have, so you have to. Nope. Second one? You with me? Second one? Stop it. I'm sorry, but you are a small splintered group, a very small group. And if you are looking for, in effect, asylum with these people, whether it's Alexandria or Hilltop or the Kingdom or wherever, you have to abide by their rules. It's like waltzing in, go, go back hundreds of years. It's like waltzing into a new town. You don't just turn up in a new town armed you'd be met by the sheriff who would de-arm you and then go you are welcome in his town in this town but not tooled up same sort of thing um i was under the impression that we were going straight to hilltop i should have probably realized that michonne is checking out their story first on the way but now she's decided she's not going the rest of the way i don't even think she knows maggie's not there either but we made it out here a long time, on our own, with less than this. So for a real chance for a safe place to live, we can make it a few more hours. That's the whole point. Rule number one, always be mindful of your surroundings. Actually, rule number one is don't forget to look up. Sorry, sorry, Don't be sorry. Don't let go down. He played on it. Wasn't today election day? Or it's too good. <laughs> That's why I was late. If Michonne knew I was violating protocol like this, same boat, my friend. Don't really? she's changed her mind about the fair? No, you're kidding, right? <laughs> Fair's I'm glad he survived. Not just for the kingdom, for all of us. We have to come back together. What well, she was running for something. Where's Eugene? Yeah. I saw you two leave together. Where is he? I left him. You rescue who you found. I get it. <clears throat> this is really nice. You're cooking for us. You're good at this. I'm sure there's people at Hilltop that know how to cook. Wait, is this why we came here? Because you think I need a chaperone? And this is the guy. Barry. I can handle myself. Where's that dog? His food's getting cold. His ah! food's getting cold. I don't think he cares. Even if you give ah! it your its name of your own and it's not its original name, you don't just call it dog. <laughs> He can take care of himself, but he kind of can't. Not yet, not fully. What are you doing out here? Turn it off. He's doing whatever he wants to do. 
Get him loose. Seriously? Daryl, step back! Oh, Daryl, what are you doing? Just accept the help. Oh, man! <laughs> He's ripped his own foot off. Oh, Jesus! You got it? Just a scrape. I told you to stay back. Listen, everybody here is starting to notice how much you're gone. The fair is important to all of us, but we need you here. Why? Because they made you our leader. Well, maybe they shouldn't have. So stop pretending it's just for now. She's not here. You are. Your people are counting on you. Maggie is counting on you. Where the hell is Maggie? I don't. The dog checks the traps. Let's me know if I have a walk up on Thank you for your help. Uh, it's no problem. Thanks for uh, saving me. Go. Hey, go dog. I'm trying to work out whether that been set purposely or not you for a bit of training for me. I don't know. <clears throat> you know. My mom, she says, you're your best friend. The one who's always had her back, no matter what. Pretty much. She worries about you. And you can you can see that, right? Th this is this is unbelievable. It's utterly <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> Chopped it off. Listen, I. You were being dodgy in the middle of the night. Do you, do you know what this is? That you don't really matter anymore, does it? Philadelphia before it was overrun by sickos. In the kids' room, of all places. A collection of instruments. I gathered. All this time? Why? Why? Yeah, why? Because it's not like they're worth trading to anybody else because of what they were, even if it is a Stradivarius. It's just a fucking violin now. <laughs> it, that old world... And the system in which we all grew up in where rare items were worth a lot of money to insanely rich people, that's gone. It's just the item that it is now. And I don't see why you would be collecting them all. I get if you were a collector, but who's going to be a collector in this fucking world? I don't get that. They shared their stories with each other in the form of music and paintings, and, and, and they created a, a common identity. For better or for worse, it brings us together. And you're the and only person to... left who's bothered about ignore it. Ignore that. That's the issue here. Sharing with each other. Sharing, yes. Well, that's part of what makes us stronger. Holding on to a 300-year-old violin just because he's old. No. What is it? Walkers, let's move. Grab your stuff, let's go. Michelle! Yo, hey. how are we supposed to fight? Michelle! We need our weapons! You can't do all this yourself. <laughs> Shit, the horses. Oh, fuck. Shit. 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 Up, so we split up. Look! Oh, for God's sake. Dude, put the damn violin down. Even if they don't get the horses, they're going to be spooked pretty sharpish. They're going to take off. Oh, that was a lovely shot. This is the same herd that attacked your rig. How do you know? That's how you know. I don't think she can do anything here. It's obviously someone who's close to her. Or was. That's why we got the story of the Paisley shirt, so we knew who it was instantly. Poor girl. You've already said you goodbye anyway, because you knew he was gone. It was a proper hippie Paisley shirt, though. I know what it's like. Mm. To worry about your family. To carry the burden of protecting them. To 
feel guilt when they suffer. I just want us to have a home. You know, somewhere safe. I should have told you about Maggie sooner. Yeah, like before you left. I'm sorry. Where is she? <laughs> Please Georgia. tell us. Someplace far. I wanted to say something sooner, but I promised someone I wouldn't. So I didn't. I kept my promise to Judith. What about Carl? Oh. We have one of yours. Rosita Espinosa. Let them know Michonne and the others are headed to Hilltop. Come on. DJ, hold up. Hold up. You see something? What is I it? I don't. She says it's nothing. What brings you all the way out here? Henry. She's taken a stubborn interest in blacksmithing. She's pretty banged up. Is she here? Yeah. And uh, Eugene's missing. Yep. We're headed out to go find him. Could use a good tracker. Yeah. He'll go. Of course. I know the terrain. I know where we should start looking. He wants to go again. I should go out with you guys. He's too... Ah! Jesus is too hands on, he wants to be out there, rather than in here. I like the giving us that lovely overhead shot. That was quite an unusual episode. Alright, episode 7. I've got a, That was a relatively slowish episode, but we've been given little key bits of information there, as the viewer for the time that we're now in. So Maggie has gone off helping another community far away. That is just completely as non-descriptive as you can possibly get. Um, so that's that. Um, I still don't remember the doctor's name who was apologising to Michonne for not telling her sooner that Maggie's gone. I really feel like that the, between Alexandria and Hilltop that the, the line of communication and has broken down and they've all become a little bit more fractured than, you know, we thought all of this was going to come together and it hasn't. At least it appears that way. Maybe not so much with the kingdom. Um, I've already mentioned several times in commentary that Jesus is just... He's too hands-on. He, he wants to be doing stuff. He wants. He just want to be sat around doing what was originally Gregory's job. Um, Maggie was really well suited to it, but she's gone. That whole thing with Daryl and Henry there, I don't feel as though it was set up, but Carol was watching close by. Now, our new group of people, um, I think they're okay. They're going through the loss period with the guy with the, guy with the page of the shirt that were lost and then she ends up coming face to face with him, which would, really wouldn't have helped. Thank God they didn't lose the horses. Uh, there's, there's something, because we saw at the opening scene with Rosita, what she was running from, and they were, they were whispering. So obviously it's not walkers because they can't talk. There may have been walkers in the area because we heard the kind of growling and everything. There's something hidden within this area, within the, the tree line. One of our new the, the deaf girls just seen something. It's got to be related. We don't know where Eugene is. I wasn't sure at the beginning whether it was, we were on the same timeline or they'd skip forward again. Clearly they hadn't. Um, I don't know why, I was just focused on the fact that God has sworn she was wearing different pants than that. <laughs> I, I take note as to what Rosie is wearing, wearing most of the time, okay? <laughs> Deal with it. Um, so, there we go. Um, I don't think there's an awful lot more to add to this episode. Um, they've been trying to organise this fair thing and Alexandria has not been on board. Michonne has softened a little bit to them. But clearly there is bad history, recent history, enough for her to have not visited the hilltop for a long time and not know of, in effect, a change of leadership. Um, 
need more specifics, need more details. But we'll be back with two episodes next week, uh, eight and nine of season nine. So until then, guys, thank you very much for watching. By all means, post your comments down below. Um, all the usual stuff's in the description. If you want to watch the full length episodes on Patreon, I would appreciate a sub to the channel. If you haven't already or if you're new here, welcome. And I will see you for those two episodes next week. Take care. Don't